Hello everyone. I want to show you something uh, interesting that uh, while I was out shopping with my daughter Gianna and son Anthony, we actually found this at Toys R Us. And this is the Alpha Drone Force Anglerfish. And for those of you who are fans of uh, Disney, you can see this looks like the same fish from Finding Nemo. Now this is a big box, but I got to tell you, it's very light. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be um, not a good outdoor flyer. Uh, some of the specs, it's uh, flight up to uh, flight range up to 150 meters, 2.4 gigahertz. The um, transmitter takes uh, three AAA batteries, and if you can see, um, there's a lot of lighting. The eyes light up. Um, this piece has a little light, his backbone lights up, and this, I believe there's some lighting across the, uh, across, uh, from left to right. So now we're going to open this for the first time. We have no idea what's inside. Okay, we have uh, some instructions. <laughs> Look very complicated. <laughs> and let's bring this out. Okay. Uh, it's pretty big. It's actually um, good for the size of the box. Here we have our battery. And this appears to be a 800 milliamp 3.7 volt. It's a pretty decent size. Here's our transmitter. Pretty lightweight. I don't know what all these buttons are for. We have our trim buttons. Uh, looks like it has an automatic um, takeoff and land button. And I'll have to read up and see what these are. It's got a Phillips head screw on the back. Let's open this up. Oh, these are actually triple A, triple A's, not double A's, I apologize. So this will take three triple A batteries. And let's see what we got to do to get this fish out. Uh, also, we have a set of propellers. One set of propellers, green and red, one charger. Now guys, just give me a minute to get this out. This is in here pretty big, pretty solid. Okay, and that's all we have with the box. So here's the Drone Force Anglerfish, and um, it's pretty light, very good detail. So there is a set of propellers already on, so we do have an extra set. Let's see if we can put the, if there's any juice in the battery, it does have an on off switch. And there's another Phillips head holding the uh, battery compartment door on. Let's see how this slides out. Okay, let's just put the, connect the battery, see if there's any juice so we can see the lights. Let's turn it 
turn it on. And we got a pair of blinking eyes. Um, you probably have to bind it to the transmitter to uh, see all the lights. So I'm going to stop the video for a second, get some AAA batteries, and we'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, we're back. I did have to find uh, three AAA batteries. So I got the AAA batteries in. Um, here's the 800 milliamp battery that came with it. I gotta play with this because I gotta tell you guys, this is very hard to get into this, um, this battery compartment. So as you can see, it has the two headlights that light up. Um, this little lower part lights up. I do see LED strips in the backbone underneath and also going across the quad from left to right um, but unfortunately I have to uh, charge the battery uh, once I do that I'll do another video with a quick flight so just going over the transmitter real quick you have um, automatic takeoff, automatic land this, you press this once it makes the, um, the light blink Turn it again, it goes solid. And I think two or three presses and those lights will go out. Um, it also looks like it has a rotation button um, where you hit the quad and it will just rotate in circles. So, this is it. This is the Drone Force Angler Drone. Uh, it looks very interesting. Found it at Toys R Us. So we will charge the battery and uh, we'll be back with a flight and figure out how to get these uh, backbone lights working. Um, it's probably going to be really nice in the uh, nighttime because this plastic is all transparent. So if we can get those lights to work, this thing should light up uh, pretty good. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Okay, it was uh, killing me to try and figure out how these lights work before I set this up for a quick flight. So I read a little of the, uh, these very uh, easy to read instructions and I did find out a couple things. Um, this does have headless mode um, to adjust the speed. It does have two uh, speed modes. You uh, Press and hold this button for a second, and this will adjust the speed. Um, it does have headless mode, and um, right now let's demonstrate the uh, lighting that I discussed. So let me uh, also did figure out how to just slide the battery, and you have to slide the battery in first, then charge it while it's in the drone in order to get up, get it to fit. So let's turn the drone on, and you do get the uh, the blinking eyes. Let's turn on the transmitter. Let's bind it. Okay, so you know it's bound when the, uh, the light on the lure does go on. Okay, so one of the options and what I attracted me to this was all the lighting on the box and after Looking at it, I was getting worried that that lighting was just a um, something to get you to buy the drone, but it's not. So this button here, this lets you turn on and off the lighting, and it does have two modes. So right now, I'm going to ask my daughter to turn off the lights. Okay, I apologize if it's a little dark. So if you press and hold this button once, it flashes just left to right. Press it again and you can see the relay of the lights going down the uh, the backbone and then left to right. Press it, hold it, turns it off
lights blink, left to right. Press it again. You start to get the relay. First down the backbone, and then left to right. So this should be pretty interesting flying at night. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this. Um, stay tuned for the flight video. I hope it flies as good as it looks. And once again, this is the Angler Drone. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.